Batteries, batteries, batteries. That's all we've been hearing this month and especially this week in the world of electric cars. Now let me caveat this by saying who this video is actually for. I'm not going to be going down the deep hole of chemical reactions, so don't worry about it, but rather stay on the surface of the main issues that are important to you around this topic. The developments and mainly the companies that you should be aware of, whether you're an investor in the industry, or someone who wants to stay commercially aware to shine at your next interview, or simply someone with huge interest in this industry, but without the time. This is the video you absolutely need to watch. This is Powered. Right, as you know, the race to achieve huge improvements in battery technology is the most contested right now on the planet. Of course, to ensure a shift to this electric world, batteries need to be more powerful, last longer and be cheaper to make, to make it enticing for you to switch. This is where three major events that has occurred this week and over the past month comes in. Starting with Tesla's battery day back in September, QuantumScape's incredible battery performance results this month, and finally, Toyota's incredible announcement this morning of its game-changing 500km EV able to charge in just 10 minutes. Now, there's a huge difference between the technologies in each of these companies. Lithium Iron by Elon Musk, and actually the batteries that power all EVs currently and many other devices. And now what is known as the holy grail and the game changer in the battery industry, solid state batteries by QuantumScape and by the announcement made by Toyota. Being from the industry, solid state isn't new. We knew they were coming, but not for at least another five years. So as you can tell, Toyota's announcement this morning created quite a big wave in the industry to the point where QuantumScape's shares have taken a 10% hit at the time of filming this. Now, of course, at this point, you want to know exactly what are the differences between the batteries and how on earth are they able to achieve such performances. And so that's exactly what we're going to dive into now, but without making you feel like you're back in school learning about chemical reactions, but rather give you the tools to be able to know what you're talking about when you see this in the news. The main difference is that lithium ion batteries on the left here use liquid electrolytes to move energy around, while solid state batteries have replaced this with solid dry block. Therefore, that makes the battery more dense and have greater energy density. A little bit simplified, but this change allows for simpler manufacturing as you now have three solid sections and therefore cheaper to make. And actually, QuantumScape claims that it makes their batteries 17% cheaper than current lithium ion batteries. The liquid gel also has its limitations, known to be flammable and toxic, causing incidents in the past and recalls. But solid state batteries aren't new. Their stability has meant that they are actually in use right now in medical devices. But when it comes to powering cars, it brings about, or it used to bring about, three major issues. And the best way to think about this is think about remote controlled cars and with batteries that you'd put in them. The first issue is that these batteries used to require very high temperatures to operate in. The second is that although they're energy dense, getting energy in and out of the batteries fast enough used to be a major issue. And of course, that is amplified when you're charging cars and powering them. And the final issue was the lifespan of these batteries. Only around 100 cycles before degrading. However, ContentScape not only have claimed that they've solved all these issues, they've actually shown real results to prove them. And these results are actually out there in the public domain to be peer reviewed. And so far, no flaws. All right, so now you know what solid state batteries are, where they gain an advantage over lithium ion batteries that we see in electric vehicles today, but also the issues that have prevented them from becoming widespread over the years. But now let's talk about QuantumScape. Who on earth are they? QuantumScape, a company that so its shares soar by 400% last month, are actually a decade old with some very highly credible people not only on their board, but also backed by, i.e. Bill Gates and Volkswagen. They have on their board the ex-CTO of Tesla, JB Strobo, and a Tesla member of 10 years and the ex-CFO of SolarCity, Brad Bus among many other superstars. Therefore, looking at it from that perspective, these guys definitely know what they're talking about and therefore we should be paying attention to them. Now, the reason why QuantumScape's shares have soared over 400% over the past month is because their solid state battery technology is able to not only charge much, much faster, but last a lot longer as well, without the need of having liquid electrolytes in their batteries that through a decade of R&D and over 300 million 
dollars of investment. They've re-engineered the solid state battery and actually have made it their secret weapon. Now what makes them unique is what is known as a flexible ceramic separator. Now feel free to research about exactly what that is and actually in their presentation on this they go through it in a lot of detail. Now what I'm going to focus on is actually the results themselves that they've been able to achieve with this special weapon because I believe that's the most important information for you. So in the presentation they showed that they can get 80% battery charge in only 15 minutes and, then, and they've actually showed to be able to do even less than that. Not only that, they've been able to show that they can do 800 battery cycles and only losing about 20% of their battery capacity. In terms of the electric car, that means around 240,000 miles and only losing about 20% of battery capacity. Name me one car on the road at the moment with 240,000 miles on the clock. And finally, their tests showed that their solid state battery is able to withstand very low temperatures similar to the Arctic and also very high temperatures at which normally lithium ion batteries would actually turn molten. And in real life what that means is that for example if there's a fire next to your electric car, the lithium ion batteries would actually become flammable and actually explode whereas this would actually withstand that heat. Again by not having the liquid electrolyte inside the batteries. Now you understand how this technology that they've developed over the last decade has the potential to completely transform the way we think about EVs in the future. And not only EVs actually, it actually means that the everyday devices that you see around you that has a battery inside them, those two can completely change in the future due to this. Now you understand why their shares have been soaring over the past month ever since those results have become public. JB even went on to say that these results are an incredible breakthrough that fundamentally puts lithium ion batteries on a different roadmap and even stated that electric aviation starts to look at a whole lot more attractive and viable. Their CEO even alluded to the fact that Tesla is an opportunistic company and therefore if this battery work they're going to want to use it as well. Now before you open up trading 212 on your phone and start pouring money into quantum scape shares you should know about why their shares declined today. The caveat QuantumScape gave at the start of their presentation is the same as what Elon Musk also gave during his battery day presentation where he actually showed that his batteries could achieve 69% cost reduction so that he's able to offer Teslas for as cheap as $25,000 in the future. But just like QuantumScape, that's not happening for another 5 years or so. With QuantumScape achieving their first revenue in about 2024 and even reaching $6.8 billion by 2028. But the world could be completely different by then. And although their batteries show to be 17% cheaper than current lithium ion batteries, if Elon is able to achieve his targets, then it's a completely different pay playing field. The way to think about this is that no way is customers going to choose a car that is significantly more expensive with solid state batteries but able to charge in 10 minutes over a Tesla that can do the same range if not more but costs significantly less even if that means charging it for 20 to 25 minutes. Of course by 2025 we should also see a much better charging infrastructure across the globe as well. And then therefore we finally come to the announcement that Toyota made this morning which completely flips this five-year timeline that the whole industry have been thinking of on its head. They've actually said they will get their first prototype of an EV car with a solid state battery as early as next year in the form of a prototype. That means a car achieving around 500 kilometers worth of range and charging in under 10 minutes by next year and now that's incredible. But not so for QuantumScape's share price which took about a 10% hit. So not a lot but still something that made shareholders think there's something about Toyota that's coming. And therefore Toyota as the largest automaker in the world, reputable for their reliability, this is a big announcement and we should take that seriously. It mentioned rallying up Japanese companies as well as the government to set up the necessary infrastructure to mass manufacture the, these batteries. And this ties in well as well with their announcement of their first fleet of electric cars launching very soon labeled BZ Below Zero. And we've actually had a few pictures of those cars actually today and I'll leave the judgment of what they look like to you but what I'm going to say is that we clearly see that Toyota is moving into this EV space now and it's actually quite good to see. And now that should bring you all up to speed in terms of what is solid state batteries, how that differs to lithium ion batteries, what are the current issues with lithium ion batteries, what are the players in this space and therefore allow you to have a different view about what are the movements of 
EV cars in this market at the moment. And if you're an investor, and again, a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my personal opinion and it's not representative of any individual or firm. But my personal opinion is that QuantumScape shares is going to continue growing because let's not forget they have a decade worth of development in this space. And if anything, all this PR on solid state is only going to help QuantumScape. You could even argue the supply chains that Toyota is going to build could be possibly leveraged by QuantumScape in the future. Meanwhile, though, Elon Musk hasn't said anything about solid state um, batteries and actually didn't even mention them during the battery day presentation he did in September. So he's probably not phased by all of this, but when it comes to you and I, it's actually quite an exciting time. We're about to see a tipping point and huge changes in the electric vehicle industry. And I, for one, am very excited to know that there is a possibility that we'll see electric cars charging in under 10 minutes and achieving over 300 miles of range as early as next year. If you're still here, hope you benefited. Hope you've taken a few things from this video. Please don't forget to smash this like button and I'll see you very soon on the next video. See ya.